All right, a little history lesson tonight. It was a pandemic that claimed the lives of 675,000 people in the United States. It happened in 1918, a different time for sure. But one local historian points out there was a lot going on then that's replaying out now. News 5's Renee Skinner has more. Two different tales, two different cities. Except one was a small, sleepy town located at the base of the Rocky Mountains, and the other, a thriving big city. A hundred years ago seems like that has to be totally different, but same questions, same problems. In 1918, thousands of people in the U.S. and millions around the world died from what was called the Spanish flu, even though it did not originate in Spain. It seems like the latest scholarship believes it actually started in Kansas. In Denver, District 11 Odyssey Echo Social Sciences Chair Chris Berry says there was a shutdown and social distancing orders. And they had a kind of an M-shaped curve, like they had their cases going down, then they reopened and their cases came back up and then they went back down again. There seems some correlation there. Businesses were fed up. Denver business owners went to the mayor and said, we need to open up, especially theaters. And it was funny because in the in the readings they were they were called moving picture theaters. So the language is always kind of fun. Meanwhile, more than 50 miles away, history repeating itself in Colorado Springs. They were in the tail end of World War One. Our town was getting ready to hold a Patriot Parade. It was a way to incentivize people to buy war bonds. Rewind to two months ago, and we were planning the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Unfortunately, we canceled it. And back then, so they canceled that. Our first order of social distancing canceled closed schools, colleges, all public events, everything. It's true. The technology and medicine, both from 1918, have come a long way since then. But the other major factor that connects the 1918 pandemic to the one that we're facing now is a lack of a vaccine. Or, in our case, yet. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Renee Skinner, News 5.